Welcome back to Thruxton at round seven of the Bennett's British Superbike Championship. And back on the podium, three for three in his rookie campaign for Master Mac by Hawk Race in Honda, it's Charlie Nesbitt. Charlie, you started the weekend saying you wanted to do well at your home round. Could you have expected such a strong weekend? And how do you reflect on it now looking back? Yeah, you know, if someone said to me at the start of the weekend, you're going to be on the podium three times in one weekend, I'd have bit their hand off. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's been a good weekend. I've, I've learned loads following Jason Lee Bob and being in the front group, you know, how to manage tyre properly in, in the Lee group. Um, and yeah, you know, it's been a fantastic, fantastic time and I've enjoyed every minute of it, yeah. And before we came on camera, you were saying about how you'd used that tyre last year in Superstock. Do you think that gave you a bit of an advantage as well, having a bit of experience with that tyre, albeit on a different bike? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I think I knew how it would react to the spin, just because I knew what I was riding and knew what it was going to do. And, and yeah, although I had a tread last year, it's still the same compound. But yeah, no, I, like I said, I, I enjoyed this weekend and yeah, can't wait for the next one. We move on to Cadwell Park next. How are you feeling about that one? Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to Cadwell and Fairness. I went well last year on the stock bike. Um, and yeah, I think if we can do a similar sort of thing, maybe to this round, you know, build up and be in the front group and see what we can do from there. That's great. Congratulations, Charlie. Yeah, thank you. And back on the podium for Cheshire Moldens Kawasaki in race three, it's Lee Jackson. Lee, another podium today, a double podium for you and the first we had earlier on for Kawasaki this season. That was a slightly different race, wasn't it? It seemed a lot calmer in the mid part, but it all went down to those final laps again. Yeah, I see it started a little bit higher up the grid, which made things a little bit easier, but you know, the same guys still get away at the front and still makes the race hard. It was definitely, for me, a case of sitting back and just watching what I could do with the tyre. And, Mid-race, the pace was fast, a lot faster than race one, so I knew that the guys at the front were maybe getting a bit excited and just going a little bit too soon. So for me, it was a case of sitting back and made, mainly managing the guys behind. You know, I was having a bit of a battle with Danny Kent for a couple of laps and he duffed me up and then I had to pass him back and I could see that my teammate Max and Ryan got away at the front, but I kind of knew that that wasn't quite going to happen for them and if I could just manage my tyre, then I knew I could be there at the end. And my game plan from the go was if Jason passes me, then I've got to go with Jason. And uh, it wasn't until the last lap that that happened, and it was a great race. And, uh, yeah, just happy to be back on the podium. And it's your home round coming up next at Cadwell Park. How much are you looking forward to that one? Yeah, looking forward to Cadwell. Last year we had a bit of a tough few races. We had a great qualifying, but then had a bit of a mishap in the race. So looking forward to just having three consistent results at the home round. You know, sometimes the pressure can get to you, but I don't think that'll happen this year. You know, started the podium run now, so hopefully we can continue that and fight high for the rest of the season. Thank you, Lee. Thank you. An incredible weekend at round seven of the Bennett's British Superbike Championship at Thruxton for Jason O'Halloran and McCam Yamaha. Three out of three. You looked like you made that one a bit more difficult, Jason, because it was getting into the final laps and everyone could see that you were closing on the group, but you had to do three riders in one lap and it was all getting a bit crazy, but that now makes you Yamaha's most successful rider in the championship, moves you from sixth to third in the standings ahead of Cadwell Park. Talk us through a weekend, because arguably it's fair to say it's one of the best of your career. Yeah, incredible weekend from start to finish. We, we topped pretty much every session other than uh, wet FP3. I uh, had a great feeling on the bike straight away, um, allowed us to do our work throughout the weekend and plan for the races. Um, I know from the last couple of years here, it's all about strategy, you know, it's not really about how fast you can go in the race, it's about planning your race as, as good as you can do. Um, yesterday's race was a little bit easier because I started on the front row, uh, so I could sort of pace it from the front. Uh, today I had to be quite clever as in... I knew starting on row three it was going to be difficult to get through quickly, uh, especially the people that I was around. They were they were probably using a bit too much tyre for the first half of the race, and I didn't really want to get drawn into that. So I just had to sit, I just had to sit tight where I was, um, uh, wait for them to come back to me, and then make my move. And you know, the I can't tell you how much the bike changes in the last two or three laps around here. You know, you get to nearly the end, you see lap 17 or 18, and you think we're nearly home, but them last two or three laps is such a long time if the tyre's gone. So. I saved a lot to the end. Um, uh, had to go, had to go through on uh, Lee uh, before the last lap because I didn't really want to leave it until the last lap. I wanted to make sure I was in in front and I could put my head down. Uh, managed to do that and yeah, get get another triple win. So uh, incredible weekend. Uh, Going to enjoy this one because we've had a few ups and downs this year. So it's uh, nice to nice to come here, win loads of races, and feel good and good for the whole McCamish MR team. Uh, obviously, last week uh, announced that they're not continuing next year. So. 
we want to finish this year on a high. I've had an amazing five years with them uh, and want to go out on, on top. And prior to this interview, you saw some of the moves on the last lap, one of which was you passing the two riders into church, but it looked like it surprised you. Do you remember it being that close? Yeah, I, uh, to be honest, when you're in the race, it's a bit mad because there's so much going on that you don't really you don't really know what's going on. You just, you're just planning ahead, you know, you're just going one at a time. Uh, I, I watched that pass on the on the phone and uh, uh, coming down into church. I think I think it was Charlie in second. Then it was Lee, and then it was me. And I'd planned to pass Lee, but he'd obviously planned to pass uh, Charlie. So uh, I just had I just committed. I just I just committed, and I could sort of see Lee on the outside. So I was a little bit tentative, and I held it a little bit tighter than I normally would because I I wasn't sure whether he was there or not. Didn't want to come together, uh, got through it cleanly, and then uh, we had a good good last couple of laps. So, yeah, really enjoyed the races this weekend. And it, it's not your home round, obviously, being Australian, but you'd count Cadwell Park as your home round because that's where you live when you're over in the UK. How much are you looking forward to that round now? Yeah, Cad, uh, Cadwell for me is, um, you know, it's the race that I want to win the most, you know. It's not that I want, don't want to win any others as much, but... It's the the most important one for me. You know, I, I won there in 2021. Uh, I'd absolutely love to win there again. I think we've got the the package to do that. Um, I think it'll be a little bit more tricky there than it was here. Um, back to a normal tyre allocation and uh, some other things will change. So I'm sure the race will be slightly different. But you know, there's no reason that we can't go there and win now off the back of this. Um, carry the momentum forward and um, see if we can keep chasing these boys down the front. And how are you going to celebrate this evening? Oh, I, th I think we're going to have to do a pretty big order of McDonald's, I think. So <laughs> it's going to be Big Macs, cheeseburgers, chicken nuggets, the lot, I think. <laughs> Even a McFlurry, maybe. Yeah. Thanks for that, Jason, and congratulations on a great weekend. Cheers, thank you.